Paranormal enthusiast James White has a very spooky business. He professionally arranges and hosts seances in allegedly haunted and abandoned buildings in Toronto, Canada. James is hosting a seance at the historic Lambton House with a group of curious participants. The Lambton House is a former inn that was built in 1860 and it is said to be extremely haunted. Now James White and his group are about to witness something absolutely terrifying. seance, one participant is forcefully yanked backwards out of his chair by an unseen force. Is it, um, is it a male? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The door behind me was open and um, I had my partner sitting beside me and we had the door, like the door was open behind us and we thought we heard something back there. But nothing was there, so we turned, and I looked, and I saw nothing, so I turned my head back towards the group, like the circle, and we're all holding hands, and then all of a sudden, I just felt like this force just come and pull me back, and it was like aggressive, like aggressive, it wasn't like calm, it was aggressive, like it was trying to kill me or something, I don't even know. My feet were like flat on the ground, I wasn't moving. I was holding hands with the people beside me and it just pulled me and it like felt like someone was coming up behind me, like standing up behind me as I'm sitting in the chair and like taking my shoulders and like pulling me towards the mirror. It was crazy. Fellow participants and eyewitnesses from the seance took to Instagram to share their stories about the incident. One seance witness had this to say about the strange event. I sat across from him when this happened and it was fantastic to see. Another witness says, I was there. Another epic seance with at James White seance. So did James White capture evidence of an unknown entity aggressively grabbing an innocent visitor at the Lambton house? I leave it up to you to decide. Is it, um, is it a male? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Scream. YouTube channel D's Dark Adventures says that an anonymous fan emailed her about a very creepy experience he had while driving home late one night. The dash cam video shows the man driving down an isolated country road in the middle of nowhere. Suddenly, he spots something that makes his blood run cold. driver suddenly spots a woman walking all by herself in the middle of the night. As he gets closer, he is horrified when he sees that the woman is covered in blood. Worried for her safety, he rolls down his window and asks her if she needs help. Excuse me, you need help. After which, she lets out a blood-curdling scream. <laughs> what the f At this point, the man notices that the woman appears to have no eyes, only black sockets. Terrified by her reaction and appearance, the driver quickly just gets out of there. He says that he called the police, but they never found this mysterious woman. So just what do you think is going on here? And what would you do in this same situation? What the, f the woman in white. 
Duke's top five viewer and paranormal investigator Mark Reyes emailed me about a video that he captured with his family while on a ghost hunt at the Evangelical Spiritual Church in Cicero, Illinois. The church was once used as a funeral home and is said to be extremely haunted. It's the middle of the night and Rick and his family are investigating the church when suddenly their EMF meter detects something that they can't see. What happens next is truly chilling. Are you afraid? That room over there is scary. Have you seen it? This one, come here. This one. This is a private office. So you can't go in there. No, I'm saying it's open because we could. Did you see it? A woman who seems to be wearing a white gown can be seen standing behind the family on the far side of the church. Ricky says that his daughter felt a presence as she looked back, but that none of them actually saw the mysterious woman at the time. It wasn't until they returned home that they discovered what they had captured. So could this eerie figure possibly be the spirit of one of the people who passed through the funeral home? Let me know what you think. We need scary videos, so if you see something that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Burial Mounds. Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is back with another investigation, this time at the mysterious Native American burial mounds at the Crow Wing River in Minnesota. Many people claim to have experienced terrifying paranormal activity at the burial mounds. Some have heard the strange sound of phantom drums and disembodied voices, and some visitors even claim that they have seen glowing apparitions at the site. Curious about the claims, Ian decides to do an overnight investigation in the hopes of capturing paranormal evidence. Things quickly take a very creepy turn as Ian searches for one of the burial mounds. Man, walking through these woods, I feel like anything could just pop out at me right now. Like, from anywhere. Bears. Bigfoot, ghosts, anything. Okay. I don't know if I'm going crazy. I thought I heard something behind me. Hello? Who's over there? I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid. I, don't know. I thought, thought I heard something, but I'm not sure. Ooh, holy shit. Okay. All right. Okay, I don't know, man. I, I, maybe I'm not going crazy. I don't, know. I don't know if I should try this, but I'm gonna try walking backwards because I want to see what's coming up behind me. Honestly, I don't even like walking backwards because I don't know what's ahead of me. Is there somebody out here with me? Oh my God! Holy sh! That scared me so bad. That was a straight up voice. From thin air. It was as if somebody was standing like right there. Hello? Ian hears footsteps following him. Then he hears a loud indiscernible voice. He's now a little freaked out, but he continues his search until he finally finds one of the Native American burial mounds. What happens next is truly disturbing. All right, here's mound number two. I'm actually not gonna say anything this time. I'm actually just gonna listen.
Oh my god, I'm hearing all kinds of things over here. It sounds like voices, but they're so faint. A female voice can be heard speaking almost as if someone at the burial mound is having a long, involved conversation. But it's something else that really spooks Ian as he explores the Crowing River's edge. Something truly terrifying. Even though there's not much going on right now, it's a lot of fun just being out here. Out in the wilderness. Even though it's dark, I can barely see 10 feet ahead of me. Holy sh! Just when I said it was fun being out here. Pretty sure there was a goose back there, splashing in the water. Of all things, Ian's biggest scare so far comes from the sudden sound of a honking goose. Holy sh! Eventually, Ian finds another burial mound. Now, Ian knows that he might not be able to communicate in English with the spirits of the Native Americans buried there. So, he decides to just listen. What happens next is truly bizarre. I just heard talking. I sounded like a male voice. Could you speak again? <gasps> oh my god! Dude, that was a face! I just seen a face! That was a glowing face! Oh my god, I cannot believe that! Dude, his face just appeared right there! Right there! Oh my god, that was one of the craziest things I've ever seen! It's one thing to see a light, a mist, or even a shadow, but a face? A face! It looked like a man, too. It looked like a Native American man. Ian hears another low voice speaking from somewhere nearby. Hellface then quickly appears and disappears from right out of the darkness. Ian is shocked by what he has captured and deems his paranormal investigation a huge success. So did Ian capture the voices and face of lingering Native American spirits buried at the Crow Wing River? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky adventures over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter, the San Haven Sanatorium. Nuke's Top 5 viewer Ricky and his sister Vicky set out to explore the old abandoned San Haven Sanatorium near Dunseith, North Dakota. The sanatorium was built in 1912 as a treatment center for patients suffering from tuberculosis. Many of these patients did not survive. They passed away inside the walls of the San Haven Sanatorium. In the 1960s, the hospital became a treatment center for the mentally impaired. However, it was eventually closed in 1987 after many reports of patient mistreatment and neglect. The San Haven Sanatorium is now known as a paranormal hotspot, and to this day, those with an interest in the supernatural travel to the hospital to explore, hoping to experience paranormal activity. So, Ricky and his sister are carefully exploring the creepy old decaying building. They experience something downright creepy. You know, I've got some more. Oh, come on, let me have that. Couldn't tell you. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, this building's getting pretty, pretty bad. Was it? No. Sounds like someone's upstairs. There's someone upstairs. <laughs> There's someone upstairs. I hope so. That was 
Hello? Hello? Where are you at? Now, it should be noted that this odd event can be explained away as simply water rattling around in the building's old rusty pipes. In fact, if you look closely, this isn't even a water pipe at all. It's actually a piece of old metal electrical conduit that has been cut in half. Nevertheless, it moves and rattles as if shaken by some unknown force. Ricky and his sister are a bit freaked out and worried that they might not be alone in the sanatorium. However, even if there was someone else upstairs, it would be impossible for that person to even reach this metal conduit to make it move. So this creepy capture remains a mystery. Is that you? The thing down the hall. A group of friends from Madrid, Spain are hanging out when they suddenly hear strange sounds coming from the bathroom down the hall. The guys are hesitant to look inside the bathroom. When they do, something horrifying can be seen staring back at them. User Ain Holval shares the video to TikTok with the caption, what the hell was in my bathroom? Now, it's certainly very creepy, but is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. Genuine Intrigue New homeowner and Reddit user Genuine Intrigue has been finding evidence that some kind of animal has been walking around his backyard late at night. Curious to see what kind of animal it might be, he decides to look through the footage recorded by his motion detecting security camera. But what he finds sends a chill down his spine. During a soft rain, a translucent figure seems to slowly walk through the backyard. Reddit user Genuine Intrigue has no explanation for this bizarre capture. But what do you think this is? Holton Avenue. Popular urban explorer Chris Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore Holton Avenue, an entirely abandoned street in Cleveland, Ohio. Now it's unknown why the street was left abandoned, other than it sits in an incredibly dangerous neighborhood. Multiple bodies have been found on this street, and each of the deceased met their end under mysterious and horrifying circumstances. So dragging around his balls of steel, Chris Hill makes it his mission to record and document the abandoned buildings on Holton Avenue before they are demolished. In the middle of the night, Chris begins his exploration at the abandoned First Hungarian Baptist Church. He soon realizes that he might have made a huge mistake. I could have swore I heard something.
was weird. What's upstairs? As Chris is exploring the basement, he hears strange noises, but can't identify the source. Then a door above him on the ground floor just slams shut. Chris quickly makes his way upstairs to investigate, and what happens next is downright creepy. Somebody outside. Chris finds nothing and no one to explain why the door slammed shut. But when reviewing his footage at home, he realizes that he captured more than he thought. A 4K static camera that he placed inside the church's chapel reveals that something seems to move towards the door just before it slams shut. Another static camera shows something pale and translucent moving around the pews while Chris is in the room. But that's not all that Chris captured that night, because after a thorough walkthrough of the church, Chris decides to check out one of the abandoned houses on Holton Avenue. It did not go well. This is sketchy. This cannot be safe. Find a body down here. It actually looks like it's just underneath the house. It's not really a basement. Still creepy. Sorry, I didn't know anybody lived there. Oh my God. Shit. While checking out the house's basement, Chris hears movement on the floor above him. Freaked out by the sound, he quickly starts making his way out of there. But there's someone inside with him, peeking out from behind a curtain. The man seems to be living in the abandoned home. Chris knows the horrifying stories of the people who met a tragic end on Holton Avenue, so he quickly just gets out of the house. And with that, Chris has had about enough. He decides to just head home. Now for obvious reasons, I advise everyone watching this to just stay away from Holton Avenue. But if you want to see more of Chris's explorations, you can find them all on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Free fall. TikTok user Jalen Rich is hanging out with a friend on the boardwalk in Santa Cruz, California a little after closing time. Something happens that freaks them both out. Okay, but the boardwalk closed like half an hour ago. This is scary. Where the f Okay, I'm really bad at this. No one's on there, is there? Okay, I totally saw someone. Someone appears to be seated on the Santa Cruz Boardwalk freefall ride, even though the ride is supposed to be closed. But then, whoever or whatever it is seems to disappear into thin air. Jalen explains that both she and her friend saw someone sitting on the ride and have no idea how to explain what happened. 
Now, the Santa Cruz boardwalk opened in 1907 and has seen at least three confirmed fatal accidents over the last 116 years. One rumor even states that a park visitor tragically broke their neck on this very ride. So could it be that Jalen captured the spirit of someone who never made it out of the park? You decide. Followed home. TikTok user Francisco Javier claims that strange things have been happening at his home in Spain after exploring an abandoned farm he came across one day in the middle of nowhere. He says that the farm is a place of intense paranormal activity. Vale. No sé, tío. Está por aquí. Hola. Escúchenlo. Francisco is recording at the farm when a door slams shut right behind him. After his days exploring the farm, he believes that something might have followed him home. Empiezo a grabar porque estoy collando sonido desde el baño muy raro y estoy solo en casa. Francisco believes that he might be dealing with multiple entities as he begins to hear taunting voices, laughing, and even the sound of intense crying in the night. The chilling sound of a baby crying sends Francisco off to search his entire apartment, but he finds nothing to explain the sound. Another night and things escalate to another level when Francisco's Amazon Alexa begins to behave very strangely and absolutely terrifying. Alexa me da un susto de muerte. Hola. Francisco says that his Alexa is disconnected, yet it calls out in Spanish, Go to the window. I want to see you. And that's not the only time that this happens. A female voice coming from the Alexa laughs out loud but then stops as soon as Francisco comes around the corner. Then an entirely different, lower and creepier voice calls out, Hola. <laughs> Hola. 
Francisco has had enough, but he has no idea how to stop the terrifying activity. He tries to continue living his life as if nothing has happened. But then one night when he's hanging out just watching TV, this happens. Francisco is startled by knocking coming from his hallway door. When he stands up to check it out, he spots what appears to be a small child looking in through the window. Shocked by what he's seeing, he quickly opens the door only to find no one there. Whoever or whatever this is has disappeared. So did something follow Francisco home from the abandoned farm that he explored? Could it even be multiple spirits? And if you were in his shoes, just what would you do? Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. You can also follow me on the socials and say, uh, hey there, what's up, buddy? Huh. Anyway, hopefully I will see you again next week.